Hello friends, J. A. Hand. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Engineer Pavan. In the continuation of our technical session we are going to disclose some hidden features of measuring tape. Here is the full video which will help you understand these features better. 1. The end of the hook. The hook end of a measuring tape can get bent over time, and it's easy to fix that by using a pair of pliers. They are designed to be adjusted, but should you break off the tip, it's probably time to get a new tape measure. 2. Improving the tape measure's longevity. To avoid having to recalibrate all the time, don't allow your tape measure to retract at full speed and smack the hook against the case. Develop the habit of stopping the end against your thumb instead of the case itself, which is a good incentive to slow down before you take your finger off. 3. Burn an inch. If you are transferring measurements between people using different tape measures for precision work, and you haven't had time to calibrate each of the tapes, you should burn an inch or a centimeters, or more. This is also useful when you need to measure something that you can't hook the tape measure onto. To burn an inch, you just line up one end on the one inch mark, or 10 inch or one foot depending on your preference, and then measure the span from that point. Then be sure to subtract the extra from your measurement or be consistent and burn the same amount everywhere. 4. Measuring Long Span Slash Tape Housing Measurement When you need to measure a long span it can be hard to tell sometimes if you have the tape straight, and just a slight angle can add inches to a measurement. The solution to that is to hook the dummy end, then sweep the smart end up and down and find the point where the measurement is the shortest, that's your true measurement. On most tape measures you'll find a measurement imprinted on the housing. This is the exact size of the housing from where the tape comes into the back. The purpose of this measurement is for measuring corners. Most people measure corners by bending the tape and guessing at what measurement is in the middle of the curve. Instead, get a perfectly accurate measurement by extending your tape from one edge to the other with the tape flat and the housing touching the other edge. Then see what measurement is on the tape and add the additional measurement listed on the housing. 5. Using the nail grab to scribe a circle. The nail and screw grab can also be used to scribe a circle. Because the slot in the grab feature can turn on a nail or screw head, you can use it to act as the, as the center point when scribing a circle. If you hold the end hook grab on a centered nail or screw head and hold a pen, pencil, or scribe against the far end of the tape measure, you can draw out a circle at a desired radius. 6. Mark your measurements with V. When you make a measurement, and especially when you mark it, make sure the side of the tape is flat against the surface where you mark it. The tape is naturally cupped out from the surface, so just give it a twist to get one edge flat against the surface. Also mark your measurement on a board with V-point since you can be sure that this point is correct. Without the second line and the point, someone could use the wrong end of your mark and cut the wrong length. 7. Reading upside down. When possible, try to keep your tape measure right side up. When that's not possible, realize that the 59 inch you just measured may have actually been 65 inch, so double check. This goes double when you are adding on fractions of an inch, if you're upside down, maybe you should be subtracting them. 8. Accurate inside measurements. When you are measuring between two inside corners, you can't get the tape all the way into the corner for a good measurement. Many people will bend the tape into the corner as tight as they can and then guess what's left. The easier way is to take two inside measurements. On one side, measure out a few inches and make a mark. Then measure from your mark to the other side and add the two measurements together. For example, measure 6 inch from one side and make a mark. And then measure from the left side to your mark. Then simply add 6 inch to the measurement to get the final result. So friends it is just small effort to show some cool things you may not know about your tape measure and now you can say with confidence that you know these hidden features. For more technical videos please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get immediate notification about new video upload.
Thanks for watching and share with your friends so that they can be aware about these features.